Hi, welcome to the Lake District vlog. My second ever Lake District vlog and possibly my last. So my intention for this particular vlog is to follow the adventures of myself and my wife Caroline, my brother James and our friend Des and our friends Summer and Marky and Lou and Dave. Hi, uh, so it's just turned half past six. I've only just finished work, it's been a bit of a stressful day. Um, I haven't packed a single thing um, and unsurprisingly Mark hasn't packed a single thing either. Um, I have used my head though, I've kicked Mark out uh, so that I can get on with packing. Uh, so that's going to help things. We haven't got any diesel yet. Um, yeah, feeling a bit unprepared to be honest, but um, I've made a list and you know I love a list. So yeah, I'm going to crack on now whilst uh, the boys out of the house um, wish me luck. No more sleeps. This is morning number one of the Lake District. And there's my dad. Good morning. And two soggy dogs. Lovely weather, eh? Okay, so we left Southampton last night. Um, got to Swindon, dropped the dog off. Um, went out for a walk this morning. Uh, so we're leaving a little bit later because the dog got really wet. Um, but it's half past nine. We've been on the road for about 10 minutes. Um, where are we going? Lake District. Lake District. With all our friends. Friends. Um, yeah, weather's and really... And Des. <laughs> um, really nice weather now. A bit different to what it was last night and this morning. Um, looking forward to getting up there. I think it would take us... How long did it say? Uh, we're going to get there in four hours time. We've got 234 miles to go. And we're listening to Heart 90s all the way there. Um, hope everyone has a good journey up. Um, I hope Des doesn't miss his train. Uh, looking forward to a few beers with the boys. Mm. And particularly, I'm looking forward to my presentation of my mug that I won in the 70th subscriber giveaway. Hi, Hi. you join us now. Just leaving the Nightingale Rise area of Swindon on our route to Middle East. Is that where Summer lives? Yeah. Yeah, to pick Summer up from Middle East. And then we'll be um, on our way to <gasps> Upper Stratton. Going again, Jesus Christ. We nearly had an accident and we've we've not even left the estate yet. <laughs> Narrowly avoided a car accident, perhaps driving and this, vlogging is not this my is forte. why This is why I do the driving in the vlogs. Um, <laughs> yeah, what, what, where was I? Well, going to Middle East to pick up Summer. And then we're going to um, Upper Stratton to pick up James. And then, because it's a long journey, isn't it? So we're going to share the driving. So I think you're going to take over the driving once we pick James up, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So, and then we'll do another swap somewhere, I expect, just as we get into Cumbria or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So. There she is. Nope. Not packed light. <laughs> you can talk. Oh. <laughs> so we've been on the road less than 10 minutes and disaster has struck already because I stayed at my parents last night, took the dog for a walk this morning, and I've just had a phone call from my dad saying that I've left my walking boots. <laughs> and bearing in mind, how muddy it is up there at the moment because of all this shit weather. The only thing I've got to wear is my brand new trainers, which I don't want to get muddy. So we're going to have to turn round, go back to Quick Lade, and it's going to make us even later. We're already an hour and a half late because of the weather and various other reasons. And now we're going to be even later, so we're going to get there about two or three hours later than I wanted. What a howler! Des style howler. So Des. Do a screen test, dear. Crack on. Yeah. Welcome back to the Lake District vlog. You join us as we've just passed the Air Balloon Pub at the bottom of Birdlip Hill. As you can see, 
is absolutely teeming down with rain. Splash flooding. Flash flooding imminent. Hi. Uh, just thought I would give a update on my journey to the Lake District. Uh, hopefully this will end up in the vlog and not on the cutting room floor. I'm outside King's Cross Station at the moment, going to get the train uh, to Leeds in a few minutes and then uh, from Leeds I transfer to a train to Lang Wathby uh, and from there, um, from Lang Wathby I will either be uh, picked up by a kind soul or maybe I'll source a taxi from somewhere. Really looking forward to the weekend, buzzing, buzzing for a few uh, few beers with the boys in the Lake District, been there several times before, um, really, really excited. Unfortunately, there's already been a bit of needle, uh, a few jibes thrown my way. F firstly, about the fact that I suppose that I always film uh, for the vlog in portrait. Ah, uh, portrait, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. But anyway, I've, I've, I've switched to landscape just to please the haters. Um, and second of all, a bit of scepticism about my um, curry making skills. I'm planning to make a curry for everyone on Saturday. There's been a bit of, oh, it's, oh, it's bound to go wrong. Oh. Mostly from James, to be honest. Uh, this is coming from a man who's never even eaten a pancake. So I don't, I don't trust his opinion on any culinary matters, um, to be honest. So it's not, it's not been the best start. It's a bit, bit of a sour mood to, to start the weekend, but hopefully those issues can be cleared up. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll update you from Leeds before I go on to Lang Wathi. Hi, in Leeds Station at the moment, just waiting for my train to Lang Wathby. And uh, yeah, just just had to pick up a lateral flow test because I had a bit of a howler at home. Uh, didn't have any lateral flow test. So hopefully I'm gonna uh, take that on the train, get the all clear and rock up to Lang Wathby uh, in about two hours time. Obviously, if it's um, a positive test, then we are going to be in all sorts of trouble all sorts of trouble so i'm going to cross my fingers might update you on on the way to lang wathby with the results of the test cheers and we've just got ourselves some snacks what have you uh, what have you got summer nice discerning uh, Mark hasn't got anything, I don't think. What have you got, Caroline? Oh, it's some king prawns. Good Very, very posh. Yeah. What have you got, James? I've brought myself a grab bag of skips. Because I am a crisp connoisseur and like Dez and Dave. Cheers. Lang Wathby. Hi. I have uh, finally managed to uh, escape the clutches of work. I am en route, um, 228 miles to go. It's going to be a long one. Uh, looking forward to a few beers with the boys and the girls. Um, we'll update further down the line very pleased to have been asked to add to the vlog, to my first vlog, possibly my last. Cheers! This is fucking ace, isn't it? Look at that! <laughs> Down there. <laughs> She's on the vines. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lake District vlog. We've just arrived here in the lovely village of Shap in the Penrith area of Cumbria. This is the view from the back of the cottage where we've just arrived. Wonderful 
vistas. You'd expect nothing less from the Lake District, obviously. There's the cottage where we're uh, we're staying. We've had a look inside. We've just had a look round. Got to got to got to grips with uh, the facilities. The hot tub there. Um, there's James. What do you think, James? Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, worst parts of the world to be in. Absolutely glorious. Lovely house. Great company. Looking forward to a good weekend. You have the ensuite uh, master bedroom here. There's Caroline. Hi. Mm. Got the second room here. Lou. Huh? And then you've got another bathroom through here. There's a bedroom there, double bedroom. And there's the two single beds there. And then all the sort of main living area is um, is upstairs. I'll just show you that. We have the main lounge sitting area for television there. And you've got these windows that look out onto that view that I just showed you. Nice desk and you don't need to do any work there. The air hockey table with another television there. Board games and other things and pieces. And then if you think we've got the dining area and kitchen through here. Absolutely the worst poster in the world in the kitchen. Summer. Des there, doing a lateral flow, on arrival. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a bit... Didn't, didn't, didn't think, oh, I'll, I'll test myself before I get here. The tra <laughs> well, I, I thought I had them at home, um, but it turns out we'd used them all. So I had to get one in Leeds Station, mm. and then it was a very shaky little train. Uh, I didn't want to upset the other passengers, so uh, I thought, I'll just leave it. I'll, I'll get in the car with Dave. Yeah. Breathe Give it my to me. Um, positive fumes over it. Well, you've been in the house now as well, haven't you? So, yeah. so you guys are probably. We're all infected. Yeah, probably get it. There might be some Riddled viewers. with. Uh, hey? There might be some viewers of this that, yeah. regardless of the result, are going to be disgusted yeah. by the disregard for others' well being. Flaming well, I've disregard. Been, I've, I've been double jabbed. Oh, I've been double jabbed. Of course, you live in London as well, so there's, there's no cases in that area, that, is no, there? So, pretty, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, yeah. He only uses public transport. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come in. So here we are starting the third game. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, Des, would you like explain to Mark's viewers why we're starting this game for the third time? You, you, to, be, to be honest, Dave, usually I'm used to a bit of chalk and a blackboard <laughs> in my day-to-day -day job. Right. <laughs> um, the electronic stuff doesn't really fly with me. So... If I'm correct, Des, all you actually have to do, like Mark's doing here superbly well, just enter the score and press either that button or that button, and you've managed to get that wrong twice. I've got, I've got no defence on that, <laughs> Dave. It does appear to be as simple as you've described. <laughs> James is going to demonstrate again. Look at the smug look. He knows, he knows how to do it. We had a nice time in the. Um... In the Crown Inn, just a couple of jars on arrival. Good couple of games of darts. Uh, it was a good try from you, yeah, Des. Yeah, I, I felt like I was um, very much patronised during that game yeah. of darts um, <laughs> by some members of the party. Yeah. But the 70 out shot from James. 20 and then yeah, ball. I was, I was pleased, Got to be I, happy with that. I was pleased with that. I mean, to be honest, there wasn't a lot of thought that went into it. It was just, you know. 20 ball. Yeah. Um, and nine times out of... Nine times out of ten, 
times out of ten, I don't make that. So, well, more than that. But, um, that's, a, yeah. that's a once in a lifetime shot, that, isn't it, really? Yeah. Well, you yeah. yeah, you could yeah. say that. Yeah. yeah, I think that'll be. Shame we didn't record it, but, you know, that we're, we're talking about it for yeah, a prosperity. It's, it's part of the old tradition. That's locked. It's not locked, mate. You said that a minute ago. Pull it harder. There you go. Right. So we've tried between us for a minute or two now to lock the door. But neither one of us can. Oh, it turns out it was that key, Dave. What, the, the, the key that I said it wasn't? This is the key. Bollocks. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Is that really? <laughs> yeah. We weren't defeated in these stairs, <laughs> but it was rather embarrassing it took us that long. We had two keys, didn't we? We had two keys um, and we haven't had to call the birds. So uh, I consider that a victory. Absolutely. Doors locked, riff raff out. So let's have a few beers with the boys. Cheers. It was a good try, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> good try. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Lake District vlog. We're back at the, currently back at the cottage. We've had a few sherbets. Marky still yet to join us. Um, what's the time? It is seven minutes past nine. Seven minutes past nine. I think his arrival is imminent. So we're sort of arranging a little welcoming party for him. And we're going to hopefully able to um, vlog, vlog his arrival. Sorry, I didn't want to call you because I thought you'd be using your sat-nav, but how many minutes are we talking? <laughs> 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 I need a piss. Well, we're off to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Can I have a piss? Please. Uh, if you didn't have to, you just found Straight down there, mate. Uh, right down the end, you can oh. see. Two sex, two sex, I'm going to piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when friends do like <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Lake District vlog. <laughs> you join me here now for my 70th subscriber giveaway presentation. Woo! Yes! And I'm joined now by the winner of the competition who correctly answered Yorkshire Tea. Louise Stainings. Yes. Speech! Speech! I speech. Speech. speech! I do, I've got one right now. Do you want a speech? I <laughs> 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 I would like to thank Yorkshire Tea because without this particular type of tea, I wouldn't be the proud owner of this one of a kind <laughs> Can you just unwrap um, um, that so yeah, I can, can everyone yeah, see this one of a kind of So thank you all at Yorkshire Tea. Secondly, I would like to thank Caroline Nichols Woo! for Woo drawing my name out of the Yorkshire Tea box. Okay. Because without Caroline, I wouldn't be the proud owner of this one of a kind of mug that is will soon be shown out of the box. Yay! Yay! Woo! So thank you, Caroline. You're very welcome, Louise. Next, I would like to thank the main man himself. Mr. Mark Nichols. Whee! Without him and his love of Yorkshire tea, and especially his love of vlogs, I wouldn't be the proud owner of this one of a kind mug. So thank you, Mark Nichols. <laughs> Lastly, I would like to thank my husband. Oh, <laughs> Without him, I wouldn't know Mark, which means I would never have entered this competition. I also would like to thank him for allowing another mug into the house. Brilliant. Because we have about a hundred mugs and there's clearly only two of us. <laughs> I promise to use this mug every day as a reminder of this fantastic giveaway. And to Mark's fans, <laughs> thank you for supporting him. Like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Lake District vlog. Day two, the morning of. Des. Hi. Did you have a good kit last night? Oh, but, um, unbelievably brilliant kit. Um, I had the most sleep I've had for several months. Right, for, for a few hours uh, recharge without, yeah, the, without the newborn. Yeah, as a result. Um, well, I went, to, I went to bed relatively early. I think I went to about midnight. I think I went to, uh, went to bed about 
One. Okay, and also I believe the uh, the party continues. A few beers with the boys last night. A few beers with the boys, yeah. Um, Shall we have a look at the, uh, look at the damage? Um, so we can see, got a bit of brew dog, got a hide in, although there's still a full crate there. Asti. Oh, the, look, the Asti, the absolute tanning, the Asti, completely, um, completely gone now. Prosecco as well, I think there's uh, a bottle. Prosecco uh, yeah, the, there, bubble, the bubbles have gone. One bottle of bubbles. I was expecting more, to be honest. I'm a bit disappointed by the fact there's only one empty. Yeah. Um, Prosex. But, um, bottle. a good night was had by all last yeah. night. Plenty, uh, plenty of beers. With the boys. Just about to get a bit of breakfast in, and then I think today um, we are going to Shap Abbey. Oh, I thought we were going to see a, a, a water. Well, I think we were, but we've uh, we've looked it up, and because the web because the weather's not great here, flash flooding imminent. Um, it's a long drive, and Shap Abbey's just up the road, so I think uh, we're going to check that out. Yeah. Is that an abbey that you're uh, familiar with? Well, as a as a, a no, I don't know. I've never heard of it. No, I've never been there myself either. Quite looking forward to it. It's, it's ruins, as far as I'm, uh, as far as I'm aware. So uh, a few, few ruins with the lads. A few ruins with the lads, um, and then we'll be going to um, coming back here, um, and then this evening we've got a Halloween party. So um, uh, with uh, uh, curry, with a curry. Yeah, Des is making us a curry beforehand. <laughs> looking forward to that Halloween fancy dress party tonight. <laughs> Uh, so that will be all documented exclusively on this channel. Um, <laughs> in there, she's made us all a wonderful cooked breakfast. Beans, Do you want some beans? Oh, I'm good with the beans, thanks. I'm not a big, I'm not a bean fan. Thanks. Does anyone need squash? Yes, please. Feeling a bit salty about that, Dave? Oh. <laughs> Caroline, what a head lame. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, I feel like his wife should do this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's, done this he's done this on purpose, hasn't he? <laughs> happened here today is Caroline said, can you open this packet of salt for me? I opened it, it went everywhere, and I then dropped it on myself, and now Caroline is hoovering me yeah. up. Very convenient, isn't it? Yeah, she, she knew what she was A doing. A booby-trapped oh, packet of salt. You always want to get down there. <laughs> the dream comes Taking through. your time with that as well, haven't you? <laughs> James preparing the hot tub. See the weather is turning a bit more favourable now. Carefully. Very murky at the moment. And it smells. Like a muddy puddle, pretty much. You rejoin us during hot tub gate. Dave, what's the situation? It's a disappointing situation because if you look, if you'd like to show the viewers and pan down to the hot tub, it doesn't look particularly appealing. Hang on, we got some look, some bits. Oh. It's nice and warm, but some, it some clearly hasn't had any treatment for a while. Murky button. 
surprised there's no uh, gold fish. You can hit the cameraman can verify the smell. It's quite bad. Um, to quote James, I've had nicer looking shits and I would rather bathe in the toilet bowl <laughs> with the turds than get in this hot tub. You wouldn't want to walk this with you. Um, Mark, where are we? Where are we off to? Shap <laughs> Abbey. Oh, and what? What? What are we going to find at Shap Abbey? It's an ab oh, uh, it says it. Yeah, ru ruins. Ruins. Yeah, excellent. And then possibly onto Ellswater. Oh, water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, a very pleasant afternoon in store. Oh, absolutely. I think there's a nice little, nice little bridge here as well. Yeah, man. The ruins of Shap Abbey. <laughs> Named after Grant Shap. Amazing behaviour during the coronavirus Thanks, darling. Bringing you another vista exclusively on my channel. Des there, ruining the uh, Atmos and the Abbey in the background. What a time to be alive. Welcome back to the Lake District vlog. You join me now as we are just about to drive through a rainbow. Unprecedented scenes. Captured the end of the rainbow there, going through it. Stunning vista. It's a pity the barbecue uh, area down there is. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Succumbed to the uh, to the weather. Flash flooding. Flash flooding, mate.
the Lake District vlog. You join me near, here now around seven o'clock in the evening on uh, day two back at the Abbey Croft cottage in the village of Shap in the Penrith area of Cumbria. Uh, we've had a fantastic day so far which uh, began with a um, wonderfully cooked breakfast by my, my wife Caroline. Uh, we then went to Shap Abbey, um, a wonderful um, Mon monastery ruin um, which was uh, yeah gr some great vistas there footage of which I'm sure you've seen earlier on in this vlog uh, we then went to um, the lake of Oldswater the second largest largest lake in the lake district second only to um, Windermere and went for a uh, nice lunch at uh, Pooley Bridge the Crown Inn at Pooley Bridge um, we then came back to um, our lodgings and myself and James, Des, Dave and Marky went for a couple of games of darts and a game of pool at the Crown Inn in Shap just around the corner from our lodgings. Um, now we're just back at uh, the cottage again just about to um, indulge in uh, the curry which is going to be made by Des and then um, we're going to have a Halloween party this evening more of which will follow exclusively only on my channel. Any howlers so far, Des? No, I've just, just started the garlic today, so we're at the very early stages. So I'm just chopping a little onion. Uh, so not, not much could go wrong apart from chopping my own fingers off, <laughs> which hasn't happened so far. Okay, and let's, we'll report back if it does. Just another ordinary day in my kitchen. Just uh, chopping a bit of cucumber here. Are you happy that you're chopping them up sufficiently, Des? Or yeah. the, uh, it's all in the wrist action. Any, any uh, close calls with your fingers there? Not so far. I've got a chef's knife. Chef's kiss. <laughs> it's all under control. This is for four people, so I just doubled it. Join us in the inaugural, inaugural Shap Curry Night. The inaugural Shap Meat Rolling Championship. There's yeah, talking here up to we were with the meatballs. 28 balls, I think I'm up to now. How are we going, Des? Any, any, uh, any hiccups Not so far? So far. Bit, fully confident? A bit tired of the meat rolling, to be yeah. honest. Uh, a lot of balls, mate. A lot of balls, a lot of meaty. Moist balls. Yeah, I've, 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 had meat, I've been rolling meat in my hands for about 15 minutes or so. It's a hell of a, of a dish. Let's just uh, pan out so you can uh, really get a feel. A board of balls. A board of balls. Beautiful. And the rest of this will be on this channel exclusively. Oh, what a champion, then. Oh, nice. Everyone's happy. They haven't tasted it yet, but everyone's happy looking at it. Hang on. Hang on. You 
join us at the finished article. Les, are you happy with how everything's gone? Yeah, the shap, Steaming. The Shap Rice the Classic. The inaugural Shap Curry Classic. It's nearing fruition. Look at this, look. Shap. There we go. Rice. Everybody very, very happy with uh, how things have gone. Big rice. So a couple of people that will be eating humble pie this evening. Yeah. Solid by the needle that was given to Des before. Side ordering is going to win. I think there might be James. Beautiful. Look at that. You sir, much better. Anyone saying Grace before we? Well, yeah. Sorry, Des. The Grace. Well, perhaps it's toast. The toast. Hey, yeah. Des, are you, uh, are you pleased with the outcome? Well, yeah. Let yes, um, you get yours first. I will uh, uh, wait tomorrow morning before I check that shit. celebrate. The little. The ting. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Liz. What is. Liz is. Uh, yeah, thanks, Des, for your uh, Thank lovely you. spread. And here's to being player. <laughs> <laughs> So Des, now the dust, now the dust has settled, and only one person has been struck down ill. Would you still consider the curry a success? Well, I need a twelve-hour window to find out whether the curry was served by eight o'clock. Were you pleased with the reception that it got though? Yeah, very, very pleased. Very buzzing, to be honest. Yeah, very pleased. Um, pretty much sort of like 8 out of 10 marks. Pretty reasonable. You accepted that, would you, at the start? To the curry, yeah. Um, sort of like pop the toilet roll the fridge. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> 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 who's, who's this? Who's this, Des? <laughs> Welcome to my first ghost vlog. <laughs> In the afterlife. And possibly my last. That from scratch. She's a fully dressed skip. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very much legal. Brilliant. Like I said, it was very much on topic. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a photo of you three, please? Yeah, please. Is, uh, but look at this. That is pretty. That is amazing. Brilliant. Babes come as Brian May as a ghostbuster. <laughs> 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 That's why I said oh, I'll come as Ghostbuster as well, but I can't form a power pack. Hang on, I want to get, I want to get on there. Caroline. What, Charlie? Des, your mate try to learn to floss the. Just do that for a bit. Yeah? And then just twist. It's nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're now going to test the uh, hot tub to see if uh, Matey Boy has actually treated it well with the chemicals. That looks a bit better. It does look a lot better. Yeah. Yep. Let's have a look. And oh, it still smells a bit shit though, doesn't it? It looks okay. It, it, it does smell good. a bit. It doesn't smell as bad. Yeah, there's no, but Yeah, it does smell better. It smells and looks better, but it's not quite. It's still a, it's okay though. I, I, I would get in it. Yeah, I would get in it as well. Hello. Welcome back. Dave, James, and Hi, uh, new hot tub. James, right my, my jizz is a bit Never won a major <laughs> on British soil. Is, is Never it? won a major. <laughs> oh, it's 
to the pussy. Oh, that is foamy. I believe in miracles. Oh, well, it's a huge sexy thing by hot chocolate. Yes! I believe in miracles. You could have done that. You could have done that. We were coordinating that time. You were. So, but to be fair, you were a lot better that time. Does it all the way down there, doesn't he? I thought we were brilliant the whole way through. I looked at you and said, I'm a bit further back. James is round. That was terrible. Because you all started at different times and it was just the one in there. Yeah, yeah, do it. Does it all the way down there? I can put on a pair of socks. Hi, and welcome back to the Lake District vlog. Day three, morning of day three. You join us now. And um, yeah, so we've got, so we had a great night last night. So Des cooked us a Rather wonderful mm, curry. Was very undez. Mm, nice, yeah. isn't it? Good curry from Des. Yeah. Um, and then we had the Halloween fancy dress party. Yeah. Afterwards, um, you dressed up as um, a, a dart player, and you a had dartist. a dart a dartist. Yeah, you had a dart name as well, didn't you? Uh, Cash Money Nichols. Yeah. All right, darling. <laughs> yeah, very, very, Mark. very frightening. Um, what was you gonna say? You didn't like the beard. Oh, no, I was not. I was not happy with the beard. Um, and then... A few of us had some... a hot tub. Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to go through the rest of the fancy oh, dress sorry, costumes. Sorry, sorry, Mark. That's right. Um, Summer, with, sticking with the Halloween theme, Summer came as dressed as a packet of skips because um, that's Desi's um, biggest fear, isn't it? Skips. So she I don't know if to... his biggest fear is just his least liked crisps. He doesn't like skips, so she came as a packet of skips. I came as Des. Uh, Marky went for the classic um, sheet. Oh, yeah. The ghost sheet with holes as eyes. James came as um, Scream, Scream, didn't he? <clears throat> uh, Dave came as uh, Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Lou was Luigi. Yeah. And Des came as Des. Yeah. So, Des. Um, yeah, so there was a hot tub as well, wasn't there, afterwards? Yeah. We broke Marky's uh, hot tub virginity. Never been in a hot tub. Yeah, enjoyed that? Yeah. Nice yeah. to get some hot tub action, given all the weather we've had, isn't it? We've the had bad weather. weather we've had. We've had We've had really good weather. Oh, so, sorry, Karen, then. Um, But uh, today, what's our, pla what's our plans for today? Lots of hot tub pancakes. Pancakes. Me and Summer are going to make the, the everyone pancakes this morning. Um, so you'll be joining us shortly for the inaugural... Um, classic, uh, Shap Classic Pancake, sponsored by Jif. Um, and then after that, what are we doing? Just going to chill out, just have a quiet day, hot tubs. Pub. We're going to go to the pub later, yeah, because the girls haven't been to the pub yet, so we're going to show them that, because um, we've made friends with the, uh, we're practically locals down there, now regulars. And then, um, and then we just have a quiet day, and then probably have to start thinking about tidying away and ready for... When we leave tomorrow morning. But we've had a nice time, haven't we? Yeah. So, um, stay tuned for more uh, vistas, stunning vistas and um, just general Lake District adventures with this lot. Um, which will come to you only exclusively on this channel. There's been a blockage. <laughs> Day three, not started well. <coughs> Sink, Sink blocked, blocked, no plunger. Um, don't think we need to get the stopcock turned off this time round, but... Um, I reckon there's a load of fucking rice down there. 
Yes. No, I think it's the. The pancake shack classic pancake number one. We found this smiley face pancake maker, and uh, so I don't know if you'd like to demo it for the cap for the vlog. And uh, so we're going to give this a go, see how it turns out. We'll report back. Summer, how's it going? Um, a few howlers. Des type howlers? <laughs> the dream team. How's the uh, Scrabble going, Bez? Oh, give the viewers, the subscribers a look at my letters. Yeah. Hard cheese. There's with a slightly more appealing selection of letters than uh, when you when we were previously watching. I don't know, mate. I think I'd rather the other ones. Absolutely dreadful. Very limited yeah. chance to score with those. Mark recently scoring well with the word ducks. Happy about it's going up? Pretty pleased. Yeah, pretty pleased. Uh, early controversy when Mark was disallowed the word juggy. Yeah, because, what was the reason what? I used to go to school with a lad called Juggy. Uh, I thought it would be allowed, but <laughs> some stickers for the Scrabble rules here. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is really the six green Very odd. <laughs> <laughs> Which, on three. Go. That's why it mentioned so many times. <laughs> Oh, Summer, you cock blocked me. Well, it's broken. Well, can you join us? Oh, <laughs> Very important oh. part of the inaugural Shut Classic. Shut classic. Summer! Oh. I think this is a fucking mouth. So we that last point, really got got it. Yes! Oh, it's new. Who wins? It's going in. Second. It keeps going, going in. We're still aiming to take first and second place. Oh, I'm definitely not going to win. Who's going to get the bronze medal? Oh, oh. And who's going to get the wooden spoon? Oh, oh here we go. Oh, Use it. Oh, oh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure using a second hand oh. is allowed. Oh! oh. What did you do? Quick, game on. Oh, I was gonna cry into Marky's shoulder. Oh, so sad. Oh, well. You join us now. We should vlog, I was gonna say, yeah. The, uh, it's absolutely team teaming it down. The first invitational pissing it down championships <laughs> live from Shap. So we just had a few pints in the crown. A few beers with the boys, buzzing. Buzzing. And we're now on our way yes. to where are we going? Shap Chippy. Looking forward to it, Des. Buzzing for my pickled egg. A few chip butties with the boys. Yeah, pickled egg and chip butty. And as you can see, he is absolutely teeming, teeming it down. Flash flooding. flooding here, but there has been flash flooding in Swindon. Cheers. Um, 
We're at Shut Chippy. It'd be on the floor. What do you call it? Cutting room floor. Cutting room floor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially Summer giving me the bird. That's not going to make the final edit. <laughs> Uh, thought, thoughts on the uh, on the weekend so far? I've had an absolutely blind inside. Yeah. Um, highlights? Highlights were um, when did we get down there? On the Friday, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Had a few beers with the boys. Lovely. Uh, which was nice to see everyone have a reunion. Uh, Saturday we went to the Chef Abbey. Liked that. Um, Historic. Saw the yeah, saw the ruins. Your lot, your lot were um, you know, heavily involved in that, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally. The Catholics. Yeah. Um, so that was you know, emotional for you all, imagine. Yeah, very, very moving. Very moving for me. A lot, uh, of, lot of memories there. Then we went up to um, Oldswater after, didn't yeah. we? Oldswater. Oldswater. Oh. Uh, that was a nice place. I liked it there. What did you make of that? Uh, yeah, yeah, lovely. Um, a nice bit of, bit of uh, well, I didn't have any grub, but yeah, some grub, a bit of, a few beers with the boys. Some good vistas? Yeah, lovely vistas, yeah, yeah. I say it's been a weekend of vistas, yeah. beers with the boys, general knowledge, a, 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 great, a great weekend. Yeah. Uh, it's 8, 8.40 uh, on the final night of the... Uh, Lake District extravaganza, and uh, rumour is that Mark's off for a bit of Rudyard. Kipling. Just going to rest up for a bit, that's yeah. all. We, I'll, be, I'll be back in a bit. That you won't. I'm just going to go downstairs, <laughs> have a little lie down. Yeah, a bit of shut eye. I'll, no, no, not I'm not even going to... Um, that's a dangerous game, that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Look, no, you can barely keep your eyes open. He's already got his night time squash. Yeah. There'll be no... <laughs> There'll be no, there'll be yeah, no. You got your nighttime squash, brilliant. There'll be no Rudyard from me. Caroline um, knows. Memories of Watch It. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll get up with you to watch the Inspiral Carpets. No, no, because he didn't have any decent tunes. <laughs> There's no decent tunes here, are there? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Good night, Mark. Oh no, it's got two on me. I was wiping it away. I went, oh my god, this is where he went. Oh, is that your coat? I'm so sorry. Hey, lady, this coat. I'm like, um, um, and he, yeah, he's like, oh, it's got on your coat. I'm like, um, and he walked away, and I'm like, this isn't my coat. Uh, Nate, you, you lost me, you your brother. Oh, Jesus I mean, Christ. You join me now, uh, Monday morning, uh, in an unexpected turn of events. Dave and Lou unable to give me a lift to Lang Waspy station, which is perfectly understandable, perfectly fine. It would take them about 40 miles out of their way. So I'm, uh, yeah, more than reasonable. But what that means is I'm now in something of a race against time. Um, to get the local bus service to Penrith before catching a train to Carlisle. Oh, that's at the other end of the country. What's he doing? That's the way I've been instructed to go, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and then uh, after that, the train back, back down uh, to Leeds. They're so cutting out Langwaspy completely and then uh, from Leeds back to London. So, very, very odd journey I've been given, but I follow the instructions. So, I've got about five minutes, I think, to make it to the bus stop in Market Square in Shap. And 
it's touch and go, it's very much touch and go if I'm going to make it or not. So I'll update you, hopefully from the bus. Yeah. I'm there then, Dave. Well, just as Des was boasting last night saying there's been no Des Howlers, I've just had to put my foot down because he's stood at this bus stop right now having forgot his bag full of presents for his family. What a howler. So we've got his stuff so here. Des. Forgotten anything? Cheers, lads. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> what time's your train, your train, your bus? <clears throat> oh, uh, a couple of minutes. Oh, is it? So you're going to be all right? Yeah. Wait, wait, what time's wait. your train? Uh, half eleven. Oh, okay. So you'll be all right. For, but how long does it take to get to the... Rejoin me now. Uh, you still find me in Shap. Um, I was given some misleading information on the local bus service, out of date information, really poor um, uh, sort of local research on my part. Anyway, the, it turns out the bus only runs on a Tuesday, it's like one, one bus a week. Um, uh, and obviously today is Monday, so I've changed the plan slightly um, and I've just found a local taxi service. Uh, just on the way to pick me up now to take me to Lang Westby and I should be in time to make the original train. So all should be well. Um, so, I, uh, you know, uh, several howlers have been have been made, but I feel like that I might be able to redeem the situation. Hasn't helped that um, I've had some drive-by heckling uh, from Mark. Uh, from Mark's car and Dave's car, you know, driving past, beeping it. Oh, when's your bus due? Oh, um, just not particularly helpful, disappointing. Um, but I'll, I'll let it go. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll update you from Lang Wathby Station. You join me now in the waiting room of Lang Wathby train station. Just had a lovely taxi ride with the local taxi firm, Abbey Taxis, uh, really nice <coughs> driver. Uh, took me all the way here. Uh, good good chat uh, in, in the taxi. Uh, few, few chats with the boys. Uh, and yeah, buzzing for the return journey. Should be straightforward from here. Um, should just be uh, uh, Lang Wathby to uh, Leeds and then Leeds to London. Uh, uh, but if there are any significant powers, I will I will uh, update you. Nice to see you, mate. And you, buddy. And uh, will, uh, safe journey back. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. So Rach is having her second one second. next week, I think. Hello there, Mark. It's uh, Dennis Taylor here. Sorry about the noise. We just finished a game of golf. So, uh, listen, James would like to wish you a very happy 40th birthday. And he can't wait to give you a big hug when you get back to normal. And... Uh, also, he's asked me to call you. I don't believe this. He says you're a fair aged gentleman. Don't believe that for one uh, minute. But listen, have a great 40th birthday, uh, Mark. That's from James. And uh, he's looking forward, as I said, to giving you a big hug. All the very best and uh, see you soon. Bye. We now come to the leader of the SNP in Blackford. Thank you, Mr.